Hello, welcome to today's lesson. We are on pages eight and nine of Faber's My First Piano Adventure writing book C. So this is the first of the four pages that are associated with the Hungarian dance assignment in the lesson book. So we're talking about Brahms's fun facts and game. So let's go ahead and talk about some fun facts. In purple, up here, as a little boy, Brahms learned music from his father, who played a double bass. A double bass looks like this. It's a really big looking kind of stringed instrument, and it's almost as big as a person. And you hold it in one hand and then you bow it with the other. Do you have anyone in your family or maybe a relative who also plays a musical instrument? Maybe they're a singer. If not, you play the piano and that's wonderful. Let's go to the next one. Fun fact, the Brahms family lived in the poorest area of Hamburg, Germany. Germany is in Europe. At the age of 13, Johannes Brahms performed in restaurants and clubs, often late into the night. The money he earned helped his family. So that sounds similar to some of the other composers we learned about that earned money, such as Beethoven. Whatever money was left over, Brahms spent on books. Isn't that interesting? It says here, do you like to read? Like Johannes Brahms, whatever money he earned, he bought books. I hope you like to read, but most especially, I hope you like to read music when you're playing the piano. Let's go to the orange up here on the top. Brahms admired the composer Beethoven very much. Oh, interesting. In his home, a statue of Beethoven looked down on the spot where he composed. So I guess that's just a sort of way of being inspired by him. So where is the keyboard in your house or apartment? Mine is in my music room. <clears throat> Here's another fun fact. Like Beethoven, Brahms loved nature and often walked into the woods. He often brought penny candy with him to hand out to children. Brahms had a style of walking quickly with his hands firmly behind his back like this. You and your teacher may enjoy walking across the room like Mr. Brahms, but if we're not together, you can go ahead and try walking like Brahms with your hands behind your back like that. Okay? Now we have a game in the middle here. Number the pictures one, two, three to show Brahms as a teenager, as a young man, and then as an old man. So what are the order of pictures? Let's go to the next page now. It says here that we're gonna do a composer tune. Circle the letters in each composer's name that you see here that are from the music alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Which letters belong to the musical alphabet? So in the example of Haydn, A and D are note names. Let's take a look at Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, and Tchaikovsky. Which letters are music note names? It tells you which, how many there are in each name. Here's a picture of Brahms at a piano. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write each circled letter in the boxes right here below. The first example has been given. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's see. Two, four, eight, wait, two, so just two, four is eight, nine, oh, ten. There you go, because the first one has been given as an example. Eleven in all with that given example. Then it says here, play the circled letters from beginning to end to create a tune. Hold each key for as long as you wish, and then we'll try it together as a duet. So I'm going to play the duet. Maybe you can follow along after you've written the notes. Here we go.
One, two, three, four. So that's what I'm going to play. How will you create the melody in these boxes? Okay, so that's the lesson for today. Let's go on to the next video for the next couple of pages. We'll see you there. Bye.